you are a yummy strawberry protein yogurt in the fridge, friends. Going to have you after I finish training. We are waiting for the FOMC. That is the most important thing. You can go to the forexfactory.com website. You click on calendar up the top and you can see, friends, the FOMC is going to be the most important thing of the week. It's coming in like, you know, 30 hours-ish, 30, 40 hours. And when that comes, the we have higher odds now of a 50 basis point cut. Yes, it's at 67% for the 50 basis point cut. But then there's a narrative attached to it saying, well, they've got to do a 50 now because if they do 25, the next one will be 50 and it will look like they're panicking. What do you do, man? I mean, like everyone is just trying to just pray and cope. And friends, I've got the green candles cranking. Like I've got so many things cranking for us. Please, please don't enter a world recession. Please don't do that, sir. Please. I mean, it just doesn't feel like we've misallocated capital, man. It doesn't. I know, like, it's like, what do you mean? I've seen pump fund stuff. I know, friends. But the global liquidity index is still ticking up. Like, it wants to go up. It wants to go up. Like, it's just, it's going to go up no matter what, friends. Whether there's a big thing that happens or not. But but the scary part is we know it's going to go up. It's just that we don't just don't want to, we don't want to be punished for 12 months while it goes up. We just don't want to be punished. I think if we do get punished, it'll be a quick one. We don't know if we're going to get that because, like, all systems go so far. Just on my Twitter feed, there was this f- coin friends called Smoking Chicken Fish, SCF. Damn, the, the SCF dev rugged for 200K last night and is now fully doxxed and being investigated by the fancy bananas investigators. Life comes at you quick. Wow. This individual name, this person's name, who resides here. Wow. Rugged and scammed many individuals. Whoa, 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 whoa. So, man, smoking chicken fish. Remember that, friends? Ugh. I'm going to bring up the coin now. Smoking chicken fish. Is, is it rugged completely? I mean, like, it charts down. Yeah, man. It's the same as everything else. I hope it's not. I hope it's not. But they're reporting to the, to the fancy bananas investigators. Now, when it comes to these friends, remember, you can have cool narratives and all these stories and stuff that appear. It is great, but you still need the community there. You need, you need a leader. You need a leader. You need people who think of it like a business because, you know, that's what a community is. You need you need to grow. You need to grow. You need the messaging to come out. And, and it's important because nobody's getting paid. You're just hoping for a future payment, which is other people believing in the narrative and being willing to, say, trade in the bull market what you own. That's ultimately the end game for these. And you can you can see my eyes just look up to the skies because that's what we're looking for. We're looking for these big fat green candle times where people come in and they just want to participate in these and join something like they've never seen before. Now, smoking chicken fish fans is actually like by Royal Power. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go through one of his posts here because it was interesting. He's got, look, global M2 versus Bitcoin. Okay, you see it's very, very close. So you see that? Like it's really close. Look at this. Global M2 with a 10-week lead. It's just showing you that they increase the money printer and then through their processes, it takes like 10 weeks to seep into the economy and the pump the markets. That's pretty much what we're heading into. By the way, friends, do you think this is a coincidence? This is literally the US election right here. Oh my gosh. It's like that we're really they're really trying to get Kamala Crappers to win. And you can see it right now. Remember, there's a 90% chance of a re-election according to the past 100 years if the incumbent has a stock market that rallies in the 90 days leading up to it. Check this out. GMI, global liquidity versus Bitcoin as well. So it's like we're so close. Like we're, we're ready to pump. We are ready to pump. But during these times, friends, it's important to remember what we came for and what we came from. You know, this is the Ethereum ICO price, man. Look at this. After its first year of launch, Ethereum was on side 37x for day one participants. Wow. From 31 cents to $11.40. Day one launch buyer at the high price of $3 were even on side 3.8x. Okay. So that's crazy. Ethereum is a tech unicorn, a rare breed in crypto and in the world. I know because we're seeing the ETH BTC get crushed. You're like, ah, it's so low. I know, man. We feel the same thing too, man. We want... We want people to understand and get the game. But like right now, Ethereum is looking a bit like Patty and Selma right now. So this is the sex appeal of Ethereum right now. You've got your hairy legs, smoking a dart. Like, oh, man, you got some saggers here as well. You know what I mean? You just, you're expecting something different. That's all. You know what I mean? So look look after yourself, friends. we got one life. 
You know, we're probably coming back. But it won't be you. It'll be something else. It'll be your same soul. If all the ancient scriptures are true, but we won't know each other. Bitcoin will be trillions of dollars by then. <laughs> I love you all. I'm here to motivate and inspire you, friends. And with that, we're going to play some actual... See that, friends? You see, you got to you got to stay in the game. All right. Specifically, we're gonna read the man in the arena. That's why my post is here to show you. Please stay in the arena, friends. And I have these schedules over time because they're wonderful. And it says, "It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better." The credit belongs to the man or woman who is actually in the arena, my friends, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again because there is no effort without error and shortcoming. But who does actually strive to do the deeds? Who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he or she fails, at least fails while daring greatly, so that his or her place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. That was said by Theodore Roosevelt. You gotta remember, friends, it's all about staying in the arena. If you just hang out, some easy underarms come. Warren Buffett speaks about this extensively as well. He says he just sits around long enough and he takes the underarm pitch. But, you know, it's it's not easy to, to get the gut feel for what an underarm pitch is. You see, it's not like an arbitrage where, oh, I get to buy for a $5 and sell for a $6 in a second. No, it's not like that. So, yes, the longer the time frame you're dealing with, the harder it is to basically put into, like, formulas and words and stuff out here when you're dealing with a long-term formula. When you're dealing with, oh, I've got to hold something for five years because the pieces of the puzzle have to join together. But, it, but if it works out, the compounding win is so big, like, you have to swing. You have to. That's exactly what we're doing right now. I know by swinging, it doesn't mean go th turn on 150x leverage. You're, just, you're basically holding. Because every day, friends, if you're holding, you are buying. Okay, Every day, you wake up and you say, today's a day I can click sell, liquidate, and go do something else. Go start up like a McDonald's franchise. You can do that. Please, are you hiring? Please hire me. So you can do that. You have a choice every single day. But if you continue to hold, you believe. Not just the money debasement working in the background. You saw the global liquidity index. You see all these charts, all these pieces puzzled together. Yeah, they might happen in the next one or two or three months. They might. If you just hold long enough, they all stack. And that's what you're here for. I wanted to throw this your way as well, friends, because I couldn't cover it before. But um, remember in Donald Trump with his second plan assassination? Uh, one of you guys is interesting. Someone asked, like, oh, how come they send shooters who keep missing? And just this thing's been, I'm thinking about it for a while. Obviously, you have the answer, friends, because these people are drugged up, mind control, and all of these. But then I thought, what would Donald need to say so that they make sure they don't miss? And he wouldn't need to say much except these three words. End the Fed. If Donald Trump, friends... If he says those words in the Fed, the third assassin will not miss. I guarantee you they won't miss. Every assassination, US presidents, all of them have been linked back to the central bank. It is ultimate power and control. Remember, Donaldo Trump, Donaldo, remember he said he wants to pull out of Russia, Ukraine. They shot a bullet at him. Right. John F. Kennedy said he wants to pull his tro troops out of Vietnam. He was dead a month later. Put a bullet in the back of his head. Interesting, right? We're dealing with a lot of uncertainties, uncertainties friends. And I uh, see all these political narratives and stuff. They are interesting. Of course, they're interesting. But 
they're only interesting up until a point because you can't bet on them. Now, Polygon, Polymarket's probably going to throw, you know, throw some spat in the works here. But for the most part, you, you don't financially gain from like getting really rolled up about all oh, this thing's going on here. The beautiful part is we kind of can benefit from it though. It's one more tool in your box to give you conviction to know that crypto is destined for much higher valuations because all of these things are only possible with the money printer. The US Fed threatening Donald Trump, the money printer. All of them working in the shadows, the money printer. Because they're not working. They're not working for labor units. They're not working storing money in gold and then going spending. Hell no. They press the button. Okay. <laughs> Got to think about this, friends. If you had to work a whole year to then maybe think about assassinating somebody at the end, you wouldn't, you wouldn't do that. You're like, I'll just work the whole year. I'll just get over it. How about I keep the money for myself? But they don't have to work for it. They have power structures there. They just press the button. Now, that obviously seeps in. Remember, that's why I showed you Roll Powell's the 10-month the, the lead and lag. You see the global liquidity index rising. We even see, you know, friends, this chart, man, it's beautiful. That's it. That's pretty much it. But if there's a 10-month lag with this, you can drag it out to the side on the right-hand side, and this thing hopefully starts to follow up. So we're right on that critical moment now. It's important. These narratives, right? All these narratives. Oh, there's going to be a Fed or a rate card. All these, what's happening with the FOMC, all of these. The community is the asset, not the code, all right? The, the narrative, you can't invest on a narrative reliably. It's like, sh it's really, really tough. Um, there's always a cabal. It's always short term. Because what does a narrative reply? In, in a narrative, friends, implies there's a beginning, a middle, and an end, and the story's over, before basically before it even gets started, and people are dumping along the way. That's what it means, okay? If you invest in a community, the community will morph themselves into whatever narrative they need to survive. They'll survive. That's it. That's what you're looking for. These are the fundamentals of crypto that move everything forward. So why are we still, we're long spiritually and financially. Like if you don't own Ethereum, you're long everything. Like it's funny. Everyone has altcoins. Oh, I'm not long Ethereum. Dude, we're all long Ethereum. Okay. Even if you don't have eight, you, you're long Ethereum. Trust me, you're long Ethereum. Okay. In more ways than you can possibly imagine. Imagine. Now, you're betting that the Ethereum dev team and Lord Vitalik, maybe he activates his semen retention strategy again, maybe. But you're betting that whatever juice they have, maybe alien blue blood juice, whatever they have, they got them there in the first place. They still have the magic touch somewhere to turn it around, turn that ETH BTC around and continue forward. You just don't know when or how or how it all comes together. But that's what you're betting on. Winners keep winning. And that's ultimately what we're playing here for. That, those are the fundamentals. You're not trying to guess what the next narrative is. That's why the people out here, they're asking the wrong questions. They think, oh, what's Ethereum's next narrative? I can't be cheap. It can't be expensive. What about the ETF? Like they're investing in the wrong things. They're not even investing. They're trading. They're trading stories. They're doing leverage. They have a little shitty stop. Oh, I got stopped out because I went down $80. Go truck yourself, man. Go truck yourself. Honk. Okay, go truck yourself. So we're not here for that. And by the way, consistently you lose doing that. We're here for long-term fundamentals. I like the community. I like all the liquidity they've got. I like how they were the first innovators. Sweet. Just like Bitcoin, friends. You can't replicate that Satoshi story. Now, it does get chinked over time, but it's not going to go to zero overnight, is it? It never go to zero. Bitcoin's not going to zero. So you put all these together and you can see where we're all going. Meanwhile, friends, there are things going out here. This is Google search. This is Seymour checking out the butts. So, friends, these narratives, you got to, they, they grip everyone. So I posted here, right, Google is clearly tainted now. Google search is government-filled Skynet. Many times I've been looking through results and I can tell it's a load of BS. They have stacked results such as the R family, I don't know, same here, and the vaccine patent. Many other examples. Trump assassination is also filtered. Yeah, it's also true. They're all they're filtering. There's just it's full on psyops everywhere. So, crypto's our bet, man. How do they all do this? The money printer. How do they all do this, friends? This is if your neck was on the line, you wouldn't do these. You wouldn't. If you really had to work for all the dollars, if your power structure was like basically being threatened, or you if, if there was proof of work, you actually had to work to get there in terms of like, you know, doing labor units for you to have the amount of money. They can't, they just push the button every time. 
That's why beautiful, beautiful opportunity we have here with crypto. Being long is is the best thing we can do. That's what we're all hoping for. So I guess we'll see how we play out for that FOMP, friends, whether it's 50 base points. Remember, like a lot of people are saying it doesn't really matter. Yeah, statistically, the 50 basis point cut sucks, but I don't know, man. Maybe, the, I don't want to say, maybe this time's different. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe it's going to surprise and shock us all. Guess we'll see. Make sure you like, subscribe. Don't forget it loves you. Tell mom and dad you love them too. Catch you soon.